book 273. Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels. And today I'm going to tell you guys about the warrior, the scholar, and the king. That's right, the warrior, the scholar, and the king. But what is Matthew Daniels talking about? Um, a long, long time ago, in a kingdom somewhere in what we call Central Africa today, three powerful men were sitting down to dinner and having a conversation. One of these men was the most powerful warrior in all the land. One of these men was the most learned scholar in all the land. And one of these men was the most successful and longest reigning king in the history of the kingdom. One of my ancestors, no less, was working as a servant in the palace of the king when this dinner took place. And they have passed down directly to me from mouth to ear the exact details of what was said that day. I was told that the warrior spoke up first. My friends, the warrior said, Throughout my life, I have fought many battles from the time of my youth until this very day. And because of the strength of my shoulders and arms, and because the ancestors and the gods have favored me, I have won every single battle. Throughout the kingdom and within the kingdoms of our enemies, it is well known that I am the most skillful with the sword and the most intelligent with my tactics of war. But even with this, I have found one thing to be true. No matter how powerful of a warrior that I am, my strength and my skill will always be challenged again by another. To fighting, battle, and war, there is truly no end. Why the gods made it this way, I do not know. Next, it was the scholar's turn to speak. My friends, the scholar said, throughout my life, I have studied with the most learned teachers from the time of my youth until this very day. I have traveled to distant lands to learn new things, and I have read thousands of books on thousands of subjects. Throughout the kingdom and within the kingdoms of our enemies, it is well known that I am the wisest man and I know more things about this universe than any other being alive. But even with all of this, I have found one thing to be true. No matter how much I study, no matter how much I read, and no matter how much I know, there will always be something new that I can learn. To study and learning, there is truly no end. Why the gods made it like this, I do not know. Lastly, it was the king's turn to speak. My friends, the king said, throughout my life, I have been treated as a monarch, and I have made decisions concerning life and death from the time of my youth until this very day. Indeed, I ascended to the throne at the age of six years old, and I have never allowed another to rule in my stead. Under my guidance, this kingdom has seen more prosperity and peace than all of my predecessors combined, and I have been blessed by the gods to reign longer than any king from any land in the whole of human history. I am loved dearly by my people, and I am respected by my enemies. But even with all of this, I have found one thing to be true. No matter how well I rule, and no matter how many right choices I should make, there will always be another problem to solve, and prosperity and peace will be on the verge of being lost. To solving problems and enforcing rules, there is truly no end. Why the gods made it like this, I do not know. My ancestor, forgetting he was not supposed to be listening to their conversation, said, It would appear to me that this is the thing that gives life its meaning. Life is not about the things we have accomplished and done, but the things we have yet to accomplish and do. The warrior, the scholar, and the king considered what my ancestor, the servant, said, and because of his insight, they offered him a seat at the table to dine with them. And so, the morning motivation of today is the warrior, the scholar, and the king. At times, we can become frustrated because the things we have accomplished with our lives have not ended our problems and troubles. It can appear that no matter what we do or how well we do it, there is always more which needs to be done. Today, instead of expecting an end to that which you must do, understand that having a goal, an ambition, and a purpose is what gives life its meaning. Embrace the fact that tomorrow will be new and different, and as you face it, always strive to do that which is good. And remember, you are awesome, you are amazing, you are wonderful, and you are great, and you are going to change the world. I just hope I'm still alive to see it, family. I'm out. Good morning. To order books in the Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels book series, search Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels on Amazon.com or visit www.dandyandbighearn.com.